welcome back to the channel. It feels like it's been forever. I was super sick last week. I was like in bed all day, one of those days, and I had no time to record or edit anything, so I didn't edit. But I'm glad you guys are here. I hope you guys stuck around. I know when you stop posting on social media or anything for like one day, everybody just disappears. So I hope you guys are still here. Hope you guys are excited for this video. This one's gonna be a short video, but before we get started, drop a like and comment or whatever people say these days. I got these markers. I wanted to try them out, but I also wanted to draw some of my characters, my OCs, my original characters for my comic book. It's called The Sauce. It's about a bunch of friends who like to play basketball and it takes place in like 2002, 2003. That was like the height, the peak of street ball. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember street ball where they do like all the tricks and the spinning moves. You guys remember the game NBA Street? Basically like that, but with kids and they uh, love basketball. Growing up, I love basketball. Me, my brothers, my neighborhood, all my friends lived in my neighborhood. We all played basketball like every day. And that's what this story is like based off of. But these are like the characters. And um, Grabby sent me some markers. I wanted to try them. They're kind of like, uh, they're acrylic markers. They're, they're cool. They're, they're skinny, thin ones. Fine point for like the fine details. But during this whole video, I'm going to be using those. And then, and then at the end, I'll give you guys my opinion on these markers. If you guys should grab them or not. Or if you guys, are, if you guys have seen these. I've seen a couple of creators already using these. And it seemed pretty cool. I, I would like to fill a sketchbook with these. But anyways, while I'm drawing, I want to touch real quick on growing as an artist because I've been like drawing for a few years now and I feel like I'm not really growing because I'm not really practicing. And I did this new drawing and I posted it and I reached out to a few artists in the industry and I was like, hey, would it be possible to get a little bit of critique on this? And as usual, nobody reached back. I, it was like a bunch of artists I reached out to, nobody replied except for one artist and it was rad i don't know if you guys know rad secrets the creator of kipo he actually did a draw over for me and he gave me some notes and i was like tripping i was like no way rad gave me some notes man but rad's cool he, he reached out to me like last year too and um i did like a tiktok and it like went a little viral in the animation industry and he, he like stitched it and told me basically he I'm good. He said I'm good. And I appreciate that. Anyways, growing as an artist, he gave me like tons of tips, tons of feedback, told me what I should do, what I should be focusing on, how I should do it. I already kind of knew some of the stuff he was saying. I just never executed it. But it's like when you hear from somebody else and they tell you what you should be doing, then it's like, yeah, it like clicks. And it's like, you're right. I'm going to do it. So he basically told me I should be practicing an hour to two hours a day at least in don't draw from imagination as much and that's what i do all the time every time i draw it's from imagination i never really use reference i know it's bad but whenever i use reference i feel like i'm trying to make my art look like the reference and i hate it it's just like too hard to like try to draw in a cartoony art style but make it look different make it not look like realistic and then when you're like looking at a picture i know it's bad bad mindset but anyways he said i should be studying for like two hours a day and he told me like these classes i should take and all this stuff and uh he's like Telling me about my anatomy, what what I need to fix, and where things go, proportions, and all that. And uh, we actually chatted for a long time, which was crazy. Like he he was writing me, and I was writing him back, and it was like, but nobody. When I reach out to people, they never give me that much time as Rad gave me. I feel like Rad genuinely likes to help out artists. It was just crazy. Anyways, I plan on making more videos based around learning how to draw. So maybe next week, starting next week. It's going to be a, like a study video, like study with me. Basically, it's going to be I don't know if I want it to be super long. I don't know if I want to cut it up or whatever, but the videos are going to be more aimed at me trying to be a better artist. And then I'll sprinkle in the artist alley videos. I'll sprinkle in the little studio vlogs if I have anything worth vlogging, I guess. But yeah, we're just going to be practicing getting better. And which brings me to my next subject. I plan on live streaming a lot of this. Uh, if you guys have been here for a long, if you guys been here for a while, you guys know that I live stream. I used to live stream a lot, but then family stuff happened. I took a break, and then when I came back, it just you know when you stop posting, things just go downhill. And I, I took a, like a month off, and I came back, and then it just went downhill, and I just lost all motivation to stream. And but I love streaming. I love like interacting and i love like when people come in and be like oh i like to draw now because i like you watching you draw and i'm just like hey that's sick that's sick anyways i plan on doing study streams like i'm not really gonna do how i used to do where i would sit there and like try to entertain and all that and i'll try to be like watch clips and so i'm just literally gonna turn on my camera point it at my desk pull out my books start drawing sketching 
learning anatomy and all that and if you guys want to join along and watch with me and draw with me i'll be live on most likely i'll be live on twitch i'm gonna see how i can do youtube as well but it's gonna be mainly twitch just because that's where like I know everybody follows me there. So it would be dope if you guys came to the Twitch and watched and studied with me and got better. And we all grew as an artist together. Uh, I don't have a schedule yet. I'm thinking sometime between 9 and 12 a.m. EST. So it'll be like kind of like a, a little morning stream. And it's going to be like an hour and a half maybe to two hours max. I don't know. But it's going to be straight studying. So if you want to study and get better, come watch and come learn. I'm not going to teach you guys nothing. I'm not a teacher, but you guys can watch, follow along with me. That would be pretty dope. But yeah, that's basically all I have for you. But uh, let's talk about these markers a little bit. I like them, but the tip is super hard. Like other acrylic marker brands, I'm too used to the Arctic's now where they have like the brush tip. And those are just, to me, OP. Like I love those so much. These ones are cool, but I don't like like when I'm drawing, I try to get... I'm trying to use like my smooth uh, bristle board paper because I know like the nibs usually get caught in the paper and it sprays ink everywhere and that's what these do when I'm like brushing in or trying to get a crisp line it'll like splatter paint and it'll be like uh, textured a little bit and I don't really like that because I think I'm just too used to the Artex ones the Art X ones but these are cool I like these I would like to try them on like a skateboard or like a canvas or something like that but for just doodling i plan on filling up like a sketchbook or something like that like pages using these just doodling i feel like these are cool they're not too expensive so i plan on giving these ones to like my niece or my nephew because they're like super into like drawing and coloring and stuff like that so i feel like these are like good beginner markers so i would say if you already have acrylic markers you wouldn't need these but if you want to if you're like trying to dabble in the acrylic marker world i would say these are good like beginner ones grab them they have a lot of good colors for a good price but yeah i'm not trying to like force it down your throat and make like every video like oh you should buy these markers if you like what you see grab them if you're a beginner and you want to just try art markers i would say grab them but if you don't care for these it's fine i just think they're they're cool but yeah that's all i have today uh quick video thank you for being here if you guys are still here uh, thank you to my patreons thank you to everybody who followed me on ig uh, we went up like a couple hundred followers this past week uh, i've been consistently posting still um and i have new art posts over there go give that a like if you can and if you can sub like comment all that stuff let's let's start a conversation in the chat what do you want to grow as an artist like what do you need to work on anatomy fingers hands toes comment and let's talk about it and then uh i hope to see you guys in the live stream so I'll, I'll do a community post whenever we're gonna go live but um yeah that's pretty much it for me i will see you guys next week happy monday have a good one peace out